The first obvious statement to make in relation to compliance is that where CQC say you are non-compliant with the law, they have to show a breach of a statutory requirement. Uh, and in doing that, they need to put forward robust and credible evidence to actually back up that assertion. Uh, and you shouldn't just take it as read that CQC have got it right in relation to their alleged breaches. Why is that? Well, the fundamental standards are actually defined in very, very general terms. Um, so there is uh, a subjective element, as it were, that comes into decisions about whether a particular provider is in breach or not, particularly around the margins. So it's important that you consider the context, the, the evidence that CQC has put forward, but it may not even put sufficient evidence forward, in which case you should go back to them and say, well, what evidence really are you relying upon to allege breach? And why is that important? It's important because, as you well know, your rating cannot be better than overall requires improvement if there is a breach of just a single regulation. So the whole, your whole service, the whole performance assessment of your service can be affected by one single breach. That's the first thing. The second thing is that you want to avoid, obviously, the situation where enforcement action is taken by CQC. You want to avoid that. It could be a prosecution or it could be imposition of conditions or in dire situations it could be cancellation of your service. So the sooner you can go back and actually deal with issues where there needs to be corrections on the part of CQC, but equally if there are genuine concerns, then consider getting care consultants. Now as a lawyer, I have a network of care consultants that I use around the country. And indeed any turnaround situation that I deal with, I couldn't contemplate doing it just as a lawyer. I can do the law, but I need the specialist care consultants to come in and assist providers in turning the situation around. And we have really good outcomes. A lot of cases where cancellation proceedings, enforcement action is being taken, the situation looks perilous, but it can be turned around with the right attention, uh, the right focus as it were. But the starting point always is to look at the facts and the evidence. Is there really a regulatory breach?